guys, it's the NSA here today. We're here live at the Gun Guys house. We found the package, not the mystery box package yet, but we're going to stay tuned for that one for later. But this one's from Evic. We got a whole bunch of mags and everything and also some barrels coming in from Evic. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this into our gun room and we're going to open it up and we're going to show you what it looks like on the gun guys. Stay tuned. Well, hey guys, we're in the gun room right now. We're getting ready to open up the box with all the magazines from eBay. So, Jeff, honors please. Out of all of us, I have no Leatherman right now. And you don't have your shirt on either. Sorry, I are disappointed. Oh, here's a piston for the saw. Stick that right there. That is a bucking with a bunch of writing on it. I can't read! Pennies. Pretty good. Pennies. I don't know if one of them. Same thing, different culture, I guess. Pretty Mandarin. Mandarin. Yeah. You're fancy. Look at you knowing all the languages. Uh, CYME, High Cap, AK Magazines, times three. A little more aggressive. Um, Good. we have enough AKs in the group. Yeah, we have three of them. Yeah. I have two and Fluffy's got one. I got the 74 and the normal AK. That felt with mag bullshit. Um, three magazines for the MP40. All high caps. All three of them. Make a whole lot worth it. Grab the MP40. All the guns live in the house when they're not during the play field. And the standard mag for this is a lot less than what Yeah, it's only 55 rounds. These things are like 300? Oh, yeah. Yep, three half round, three hundred rounds. Yeah, I'm gonna open up a little hole in the back. Give me a bitch to load, though. <laughs> That's why we got small bottles and you just keep shaking. I there you go. Put that back on the wall. Put these on the pile. Um, Thompson stick mags. Thompson M1A1 military stick mags. Times three. So, so again, a little more aggressive, but they do work. In the Chicago typewriter, they just don't look right. Add another magazine to the collection because you know everybody needs more magazines. More mags, more people, more dead stuff. Biggest reason we're getting high cap is because lots of these guns are all rentals. Yeah, get our own rental business, so stay tuned for a little more information on that. And then they also fit in the Chicago typewriter. Just doesn't look right. No. No, a little too, but doable. A little too small for that. The, uh, and I definitely need to clean my gun room hole another It very much needs the uh, drum for the Chicago, especially the Chicago King Arms Chicago typewriter. Such a fancy soft gun. You gotta keep it original. Absolutely. What else is in box, Tanner? Well, we got something that not a lot of people play with. It's the Extended Mag 1911. CO2 or Green Gas? CO2. Who's the 1911? So, normally, you see these guns and they clip in and they don't usually have that extra box. So, with this, this holds 26 rounds. The basic one Which holds that one. Seven. That is 17. So we'll can, gas up the extended later. You can kind of see the uh, aisle off a couple rounds with it. The difference is, got the basics versus the extended. Versus a little more self-propelled and keep you safe. But you always got to have more. More the merrier. Also in here for the 1911 mags are rebuild kits. Two rebuild kits for the standard magazines. These are available on eBay. So it comes with a follower, a spring, the CO2 puncture thingy, I don't know what they're called, the um, gas release valve, the feed lips, and an O-ring. And they're right from Elite Force, so the exact same brand that the pistol is made from. There. Next we got ourselves an AGM SPG-44, just because, you know, the Germans 
Always make good stuff. Again, three times. All three high caps. I think they're 450 rounds is what they're advertised as. Oh, they don't. Oh, well, that's a shocker. Can you look at the mag out again? There you go. It's tight. I'm sorry. Put them on the shelf. Then we got one magazine for the Galil. See why I made Galil? This is a 430 round magazine. I have one of these already. Let's begin because this is a very popular rental gun from the trailer. It's always nice to have more bullets. Hold that up, stick her on the wall. Put it back in the back. And then we got, and oh, that's the bucking. That was, well, look, there's two of them. Meh. Well, but there's only one. That's not important. This is a VSR hop up for the HPA VSR I plan on building. I'm holding that and that's loose as hell. Fix that one up this winter. And that. empty box. Another piston. This is a Mad Bull Airsoft. Again, full steel teeth. Front to back. High-end pistons. Read owner's manual before use. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Yeah, that's never done. It's redneck approved. Pretty much. And then next we got the, the barrel for Fluffy's VSR-10. This is a G-Spec VSR, but we got the long barrel, so the barrel will stick in the suppressor form. More range, more accuracy. Um, Prometheus, I think they're Prometheus? Yeah, Prometheus. AEG barrel. This one is the 509 millimeter barrel. Again, Type 4 stainless steel construction. Lasts long. I've got these barrels in a couple of guns and I've never had a problem with them. Their accuracy is very good. And then the next one here is the 590 millimeter barrel for the Prometheus barrel again. This one is for the M82 at the top. Because it had a shorter barrel on it for the G spec. Straight up. Like that. Yeah, it will it. So, why don't we take the old barrel off the wall? It's a little bit more proportional. Because then we're only, you know, three, four inches short instead of like eight. So it actually shoot a distance, not... Not be able to be outranged by your standard G and G combat machine. Um, gameplay with that coming next year. I think so, maybe. Gameplay with the green VSR coming next year. I think so, maybe. And gameplay with the LCT RPK on my wall that has been dead for two and a half years. We'll eventually have a Polar Star F2 kit in it, HPA goodness, and a whole bunch of other shit. Other than that, I think that's all we got for you tonight. Okay, guys, so stay tuned. We're going to get a lot more video footage going on here uh, throughout the rest of our campaign of YouTube. Um, but stay tuned, guys, and we're going to have a great time seeing you guys around, and let's have some fun. See you guys up.